Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, July 16th. It's the seventh week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 34 to 40, and Acts chapter 13, verse 1 to 12. And please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novice. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker, for you're our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, wait on the Most High and keep God's way, and God will free you from the wicked. Alleluia, Psalm 37, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, wait on the Most High and keep God's way. God will free you from the wicked, and you will inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked triumphant, spreading themselves like a green bay tree. And yet they passed away. I sought them, but they could not be found. Make mark the just and see the upright, for their end is peaceful. But the sinners shall be destroyed together. They have no future. The Most High saves the righteous. God is their strength in time of trouble. The Most High shall help them and deliver them. God shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Wait on the Most High and keep God's way. God will free you from the wicked. Alleluia. A lesson from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Now in the church at Antioch there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simon, who was called Diger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manon, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. And while they were worshiping the Most High and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. And so being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there to Cyprus. And when they were arrived at Salome, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had John also to assist them. When they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man, who summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God. The magician, Elimas, for that is the translation of his name, opposed him and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, also known as Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him 
and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now listen, the hands of the Most High is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he went about grouping, groping for someone to lead him by the hand. And when the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, turn us away from evil and into the paths of good, and deliver us from the wicked, and grant us peace in our day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.